So today I'm going to change the front and rear sprocket on my 400DX and also the chain because you should always do them at the same time. For the sprockets I got Sunstar 39 tooth in the rear and 14 teeth up front and those are just the stock sizes. I just wanted to keep it stock. And to swap them out you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket, a 17 millimeter socket, um, some allen wrenches, and some extensions. So I'm going to start off with the rear sprocket. There's four bolts back here and these are the 17 millimeters. And then there's an allen on the back so you need the allen wrench for that. So once all the bolts are off the back sprocket, you can move on to the front and get those loosened up and off. These are the 10 millimeters. There's two of them right here on the bracket that holds the sprocket on. Then you can use a screwdriver to help you work it off. And then next you're going to want to jack up the rear and take the left back tire off. So you can slide the sprocket off that side. You kind of just have to twist it off the back side and line up the holes right, slide it off. And next I'm just going to slide the front sprocket off. And then pay attention to how you took this one off. Because you can kind of see there's like a lip on the inside. Just remember that goes back towards the motor on the inside. And you can easily see the wear marks on this. So you can still tell if you forget. Because of this chain guide right here, I can't just slide the chain right off. And this chain's junk, so I'm just going to cut it. So now that I have the chain split, you just slide it right up. So I'm going to put the back sprocket on first. So if you look at the new sprocket, this rounded edge goes in towards the swing arm. So all you have to do is sneak it back on. And then remember that the, the Allen side is toward the swing arm. At this point you can put the, the uh, tire back on. It makes it easier to tighten stuff. So the new sprocket I got actually looks a little bit different than the stock one. So you can see the new one here has a lip. Flat on one side. And the stock one just has a different shaped lip on it. So since the stock lip was facing in, I'm going to put the new one with the lip facing in also. So I'm putting the front sprocket on. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on these too. Just like I was saying before, I'm going to put the lip facing in. And the next you have to put this little clip mount on the outside. Try to line them up right. It'll spin once you get on it, but you got to line this holes up. And for this part, you can put it in gear so it stops spinning around so much. Then get the 10 millimeter with the little extension on it. And 
Now the stock length chain on a 400X is usually 94. It kind of depends on what, if you're running stock swing arm and everything, that's what it is. But if you get different sprockets and different swing arms, it might change. For my chain, I got a DID X-ring chain. And it's got like a coating on the outside to help prevent rust. I got the 96 links just because it was cheaper than 94 so I don't have to take two off. So if you want to measure how many links you need to take off, just throw the chain on. So as you can see here, I have to take off this. So I'm going to mark, put a marker here in this pin so I know which one to take off. So now that you marked which one you want to take off, you can see the pin sticking up. All you have to do is grind that flush and then use a punch to punch that down through and pop it out through the other side. So the new chain came with some O-rings. So I'm just going to slip these on this link. And then they put some chain grease in here. I'm going to put this on before I slide it in to the chain. Because I already put the chain on the sprockets. So then I got the grease on here. I'm just going to put it this way. Slide it into the chain. Make sure you got the earrings in there and everything. So when you put the clip on, be sure the open ends go in the opposite direction of the rotation. Missing someone.